Welcome back, everybody. Ready to bring you an exciting video. We're ready to test out curated collections. So today I'm gonna to show you how to vault rare Pepe's with our new curated collections. So here we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to emblem.finance, right? And then you're gonna click on create curated. And what you're gonna do is then once you're over at this page, you're gonna see the drop down. You're gonna see rare Pepe's, emblem tests, and spells of Genesis. As I'm recording this, we're still in the beta testing phase. Depending on whenever you're watching this, there could be more, there could be more, and hopefully there will be more. So for this example, we're gonna do rare Pepe's, but you can apply this entire strategy and tutorial to any of the collections that exist within our curated collections. So you're gonna come down and you're gonna click on Rare Pepe and you're gonna see there's a ton of them. So we're gonna be adding more features as we go, but you can literally type a letter and it'll take you down to where you need to be. And I'm gonna vault a Snowden Pepe, which there's 1,774 different Rare Pepe's. So it's gonna take a little bit and you see here it populates already. So you don't have to type in the description, the title, or put the image in like you do with the Legacy Vault. So we're already reducing the amount of clicks by four with, with just this simple feature. A new feature that's also with Curated Collections, which I'm very excited to announce and is personally my favorite, is our security upgrade. So when you scroll down here, you're gonna see that there's only one deposit address. In the Legacy contract, there is a deposit address for all of the different blockchains. Here, you're only going to see one. And the reason why is because to improve the security of this, we had to make sure that the proper asset is stored inside of the selected page. So for here, Snowden Pepe, you cannot mint the vault. At least one full Snowden Pepe is inside of the vault. And then the mint vault button will populate, which I'm gonna show you here in a second because since this is the first time I've interacted with curated collections on this test account, you have to approve Koval. And this is a one-time transaction. Just use the default guys. It makes it a lot easier. People keep asking. You can see that there is a, it's like a $2 transaction fee. And you'll see down here at the bottom, it says handling approval flow. And so while this loads, you can see the owner address is OXOO, which means it's owned by the null address. So it means that this NFT has not been minted yet. So we're still in this creation process. And so once it's done, and once the transaction is confirmed, you'll see that there will be a mint button that pops up. But when the mint button originally populates, see, as you can see right here, there it is. So mint vault, right? You can't click on it. So I'm gonna have to send a Snowden Pepe into this wallet for it to populate. And we're gonna show you here exactly how it's done. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna copy this address. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my free wallet and I'm gonna switch and show you guys how we do this. So here we are, free wallet. You can see right here, I have some Bitcoin in here so I could send the Snowden Pepe. You can see here, Snowden Pepe, we're good to go. Come up here, hit send funds. I'm gonna type, or I'm gonna paste in that address. We're gonna send a Snowden Pepe, I'm gonna hit max, and we're gonna send funds. And then voila, the transaction has been broadcasted. You could come here to the counterparty page and you can see it's unconfirmed, right? So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait. And then at some point we're gonna come back, I'm gonna snap my fingers, and the asset's gonna be inside and we'll show you what happens next. All right, so our transaction has confirmed. And we can see it here that it has confirmed four minutes ago. So we're gonna go over to the vault and you can see this known NFT is here. Sometimes you have to click refresh balance if it's not showing up just in case. And what you're gonna do when, when it shows up is that you're gonna have to refresh a, refresh a page. Hopefully we figured that out, but if this is still minted out when it's displaying, you know, just go over here, hit refresh and it should fill in for you once it's done loading. This is still the early days and see, there it is. Mint Vault. And the message will say curated minting with a bunch of numbers afterwards. So you just go ahead and hit yes. And then a gas transaction will pop up. And so for the gas transaction that I'm showing right here is $12, $12 at 20 guay. So a little bit cheaper from what you're used to on the legacy contract. And when we roll out bulk minting, it'll be even much cheaper because we're using more efficient gas transactions. So the more that you mint at the same time, the lesser the gas fee is 
when you multiply it. So instead of having $12 times 100, which equals 1200, pretty sure, it's actually gonna be significantly less than that. I believe uh, it's a pretty, pretty um, efficient thing. So here again, we're still having a little bit of bugs. It says the owner is still the null address. So if you just go ahead and refresh, and that always saves it, you could see that this is now owned by me. And we could go over to OpenSea, and you'll see here two different things, transfer vault and approved claiming. Approved claiming is how you unlock it and you get the asset and you get the private keys. This is just a one-time transaction fee, just like it is to uh, approve minting. Approved claiming is the same thing. It allows Emblem Vault the ability to burn the NFTs to then display the private keys for you. That's set up as a security measure that in order to see the keys, you have to burn the NFT so that nobody else can see it or else people are just going to see the private keys, sell it on the secondary market, and we're going to have all kinds of super chaos. So once you do approve claim and unlock it, that is an irreversible transaction. It cannot be undone. Once NFT is burned and you've seen the private keys, it's all you got to do. It's all for you. You're going to have to import it and then recreate something if you have a mistake. And I also do want to mention as well, um, storing things inside of the vault. Since there is one Snowden Pepe NFT in there, it can mint. If you put 0.99 Snowden NFT or Snowden Pepe NFT inside of it, it will not mint. You need at least one or more. You could go store other assets inside other. You could put Bitcoin in there. You could put XCP. You can put different rare Pepe's. I don't know why you'd want to unless you're trying to do some sort of like Easter egg hunt. But you need at least one Snowden Pepe to be in there. To mint. End of story. It's all you got to do. So we'll save the approved claiming for next, but we're going to go over here to open C. You can see, boom, it's known Pepe. It's owned by me. And you can see the different stats. Again, we're still fixing uh, a lot of it. And you can see that I actually minted this uh, a few days ago as well. And you go to the page. Here it is. Again, still in beta, but this is the future of rare Pepe's. You can see here there's two, right? So it's not all scattered all over the place. People could throw bids out and we're going to have a lot of fun with this uh, and hopefully bring rare Pepe's to the mainstream. So there we are. Rare Pepe's, the future of curated collections of Emblem Vault, Pepe's and so forth. Excited for you to do this. Feel free to reach out to us in the Emblem Vault Discord and we'll see you next time.